Check out the new Salt Strong Pathfinder 24. Look at this bad boy. Let's oh hear. my gosh, Derek and his cuz did an amazing job on this wrap. We did a little bit similar to Peter Deke's uh, Yellowfin, the Salt Strong, and now Captain Hollywood himself down in the Florida Keys has one like this as well. The two tone blend with the little stripes. Dang! Yeah, we're pumped. Yeah, just Man. came in. It is looking sharp, and uh, so we thought we'd go ahead and do a review of the boat as well, just to show, just to show the boat. Well, we've had a lot of questions come in about the layout, what we like, what we don't like. Why did we choose a Pathfinder? Why did we choose Pathfinder? Yep. And so let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. And so uh, let's start with the priority as far as fishing, because this is really about uh, using a bay boat for fishing. And so priority number one, let's come up to the front. So the troll motor. A lot of people ask if they should get. You know what accessories they should get when they or think about when they're getting a boat and if you're going to be fishing from a from a bay boat really for any boat for inshore fishing troll motors are crucial and uh, we went with the motor guide this is the xi5 um, i've always used motor guides in the past i've been happy with them um, i've never had the remote one and so far i've been very very happy with it been using this for i guess probably a couple months uh, this has 105 pounds of thrust and although this is a big boat, it still moves it pretty good. I, I, I don't go nearly as fast as my skiff, with it, which is much lighter and has an 80 pound thrust, but this gets the job done. Even in, pretty, in heavy current, even in wind, and this big tower catching the wind, this thing has been very impressive. And uh, I'll spend some more time and do an, an individual review on this. But so far, I've been very pleased with it. Anything you change? You do it over again? I, no, I, this okay. has been the quiet. I have used the Minn Kota the bigger name in Trolla Motors, and I have used multiple Minn Kotas and, and multiple of the you know the the wireless ones and this is the quietest troll motor i've used so far um, and, and so far the tracking seems to work i haven't been using the spot lock all that much i'm going to get it on the reefs and do the spot lock and you can literally be per reading the instructions you can be on a spot and it hit a little button it'll move you five feet forward if you want to move to the, to the right you hit the right button and you move five feet five feet to the side it's pretty incredible if technology that, if, yeah, if that works i'm gonna i'll be blown away yeah. so to be determined. Cool. So, Let's move back and talk about a different, yeah. uh, different motor. So, yeah, motors are the most important. Um, obviously, you know, we uh, the, the big motor, you have to have uh, one of these to get to and from your, your spot. So, yeah, the Yamaha four-stroke, we have the 300 on here. Woo! And this puppy moves. And Luke was talking about getting a 250, and then we upgraded to the tower, and we're going to do, do a little tour of that in a second. Yep. I was like, we got to go 300 well, we, on we this guy. We have to have to. For the connections, the 300 was the only one that did it. And I'm glad we did. Yeah. I'm glad we did. It is, uh, it is pretty sick. Otherwise, uh, bass buys be you know going by us and <laughs> the little 21 foot bass boats. Yeah, I still haven't. Yeah, I still haven't. Yeah, we're still breaking in, so still haven't put it all the way all the way down. But uh, but it, it moves. It moves plenty. Have a jack plate. Very very important as well. If you're going up in the shallow water, we really uh, not running in shallow water around here. Pretty much um, by the time we get up close to the, the flat, I always slow down well before the flat. Um, but it's it's nice to have. You can uh, when you are motoring on and off the flat. If it's a long ways. You can bump the motor up. That just shifts. If you're not familiar with jack plates, it lifts the motor vertically, and uh, and then you can put it back down. Really, really handy. And then come around the motor. Uh, another really cool feature is the power pole. So we have a power pole on here. This is an eight footer. Um, we had the option. I think the options were six, eight, and ten. Maybe twelve. I don't know if I can't remember if they make a twelve or not. We went with the eight. Um, really, pretty much only use these in shallow water. And I like the fact that it was going to be fl about flush with the engine. You know, once you get to the 10, and, and if they make if they make even higher, obviously it just goes up up as you go, and it can get more in the way. Um, so we went with the eight, and so far. And why one versus two? I know that's a question you probably asked. Oh yeah, already. yeah. Uh, just for for financial reasons, right? I mean, it's just a lot of a lot more money, and uh, and I do more kind of power fishing where I'm using the trolling motor um, aggressively and and moving around a lot versus two is more for people who are really fishing guides who are live bait fishing and you want to pin that boat bound where it, down where it won't swing with the wind and the current yeah because um, we we yeah. are not sponsored by pathfinder power pole any of these we had to pay for this yeah. with our own hard-earned money and if you're wondering why we keep doing this tour why we chose pathfinder well you know luke's had a maverick for many years loves it we've always loved this brand we knew we wanted to get a bay boat because we wanted to do a little bit more of everything and even you know, Cody, our camera guy, is probably pretty uh, pretty pumped because, let's face it, when you're a little small 17 Maverick with two guys who are kind of big and loud and moving a lot and a camera guy, that's you're maxed out. So 
we had Harry Spear on uh, on the podcast, and I was asking him both kind of on and off air. I was like, dude, what would you go with? And we asked this question to a lot of people who who own a lot of boats, and, and he's a custom boat builder, so he would traditionally not really like uh, more of a mass-produced boat like this. And he's like, man, I would go Pathfinder all day long because of the resale value because this is something that you don't have to like spruce it up you don't have to do much like these you can sell at any given time they're going to probably keep their value better than anything else that was one yeah. of the the main reasons we went with uh with now of course we found out they just got sold which i don't yeah. know what that means yeah i don't know uh, surprise but crazy. but in and uh and as we when we go through the boat there's a lot of little nuances that um, are all kind of small but when put together it's a big difference on going from a boat like this which which has more years of experience, more research, more R&D um, compared to some others. Yeah. And, uh, and so I'll, I'll kind of go through those at all. But I brought this out. So this is power pool number two. So for <laughs> those on a budget like we are, here's power pool number two. So use the power pool. We can anchor the boat down quietly, right? I have the remote. It's not on me somewhere in the boat. Um, and then if I, if I don't want to have any wind shift, I then have this on the front of the boat and now I can just stake it down and tie it off to the front. $90 versus $1,900. Yes, it saves a lot of money. And it's obviously it's not quite as convenient as just hitting a little hitting a button and two power poles go down. But um, as far as the, the cost savings per hour of labor, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, and these so, things work even on bigger boats, man. It's yeah. crazy. They, and they and regardless, if you, even to get two power poles, I, I highly recommend these regardless because just for anchoring at an island, if you're going out to uh, like a, either a party somewhere and then you want to you want to anchor the boat down without using a traditional anchor. Power poles are a little bit risky because as the tide goes up, right, power poles fix to the boat, tide lifts the power pole out of the ground, boat goes away. That's not good. This is a fix to the ground. Um, and, and so when I, when I leave the boat up to on an island for a long period of time, I always use this. I never use the power pole. So, so I, that's why I highly recommend these. And if you get this, you might as well only get one power pole, in my opinion. <laughs> cool. So, Let's do a tour of the rest yep. of the boat. What do you think? Let's do Hop it. Hop in this bad boy. Of course, we forgot our towel, so we're going to yeah, scuff so we'll... this beautiful boat. And this is the first time we're seeing the wrap, by the way. Uh, that's why we're so excited. We just got the wrap in from uh, from Derek, and uh, man, it is just beautiful. Let's and it's see. a little bit chilly out today, which is why we got yeah, glasses might well, on. Might as well start in the back. And, um, and so live well is probably the first question everybody has. So here's the main live well. And I believe it's 40 gallons. We'll put all the specs down below. I'm not the spec guy, I'm more the, the use it and see how it does guy. Very, very impressive with this live well. I really like the fact, I was out shrimp fishing last, which is why I had the bait bucket in here, but I really like the fact that, again, this is one of those little small things that, that these bay boats have that, that makes a big deal. And so they have this guard. So when you're catching white bait, you can block all the bait or, or a pinfish, you can block all the bait from getting hidden around the uh, the pipe, right? The, it protects all that stuff in there and it's so convenient. Now you can more easily net the bait. There's nothing in here that those bait fish can get around. So I really like that. Uh, that's the first I've seen. And, uh, and that just comes standard. That wasn't like an extra add-on or anything like that. The other, um, we had an option to do a, a, another live well. This is actually, this is actually being a third live well. And we didn't do it, just wanted some more storage instead. And this is where I keep the cast net, which is barren. I don't use it too much, but uh, I'm just like this with the cast net. That way you can see that there's a drain on there, throw the net, put the bait in here, cast net in there, done. Very, very handy. And as you see, these latches are awesome as well. Again, a lot of little small things. Not going to slam and scare off all the Yeah, fish. I mean, how, how many times have we been messing with latch and we have our hand right here and it gets totally slammed? Not good. And so these latches, I mean, they're, you basically, once you get right around there, it'll close. But look at that. I mean, that's, again, not a big deal, but just that plus multiple other things is why we've been very, very happy. No with this more slamming. No more uh, messed up fingers. So cool thing too, for the, for the family side, we're bringing Joe's kids out, put up the seats, one on this side, one on the other side, and, uh, and it's comfortable, comfortable ride. And as far as storage, it is crazy how much storage in here. You get access to some of your pumps and all that stuff. Yeah, and good access too. to everything. There's a, you can see access to these little pumps and everything. It's, um, it is crazy how much storage. I'm used to a little skiff. So I've been blown away with the storage and like, no matter what I do, I cannot fill it up. And we still have all of our stuff hanging out here. Yeah, yeah, we have all the storage, but we still keep our, our uh, tackle boxes over here. So 
Speaking of easy access to everything, this is one of the coolest things in my opinion. They literally have this hatch here and from this one hatch, you can access your, uh, your, your, uh, your water for your fuel, fuel filter. Um, you can access the different uh, live well pumps all down here. Very, very handy. It is, uh, it is probably a mechanic's dream to have all this. Easy access, again, I'm used to my, my skiff, where if I'm gonna make any sort of adjustments, particularly that, that fuel filter, I have to, to just really get down and it's a, it's a huge pain and very, very difficult. So for that reason, again, another little pretty small thing that makes a big deal. Um, another, we have a little hash down here. It's, I've actually never even used this one. I can't remember what's in here. Let's check that guy out. I believe it's, I think a lot of people use it for cast nets. Um, yeah, so that has a drain on there. This is actually a really good cast net spot as well. So if I ever take multiple cast nets this summer, we're doing a lot more live bait fishing. I'll have a big cast net for pilchards. I'll have a smaller uh, cast net for for the little smaller bait and that way i can kind of have both cast nets to keep them organized it'll be it'll be handy yep so cool thing here we have the uh, comfortable seat it flips open have some stuff in there nice you know waterproof storage we have four rod or actually like five rod holders here but it actually comes with the uh, a back seat and the back seat plugs into these to these back two and then you can have a comfortable back seat and still have three three rod holders. And three then you got launchers. the rocket launcher up at top. Yeah, then we have four rocket launchers up top. We got three on both sides here of the console. The rod storage is crazy. We're gonna have more rods than, than we could ever use. Um, console, again, everything's just comfortable. Um, there's a, I, I like the space in here between the seat and the uh, the console. One cool thing, again, you can, you can see my foot. The, the Again, just another little small thing, you, they actually built a recession um, I don't know I guess that's the right term but on the bottom you can actually put your toes in so it just it just makes for more walking room uh, in the boat and that's around the whole that's around the whole console so again foot feet toes can go into there again small thing it's pretty cool uh, one thing that's awesome is for wallets keys phones you want it to be protected and easy to access this is the answer and then if you look in here, this is where all the uh, gauges are. I need to go ahead and turn the batteries on as well, since we're here. And so all the fuses in here, everything's in here, easy to access. Just kneel down, everything's, um, you can see what it is. It's all labeled, very, very handy. And, uh, and then this little kind of kickstand. So when you're sitting down, right, sitting down, you can have your feet right here. It's just, they, again, they put a lot of time into making sure that they make this ride as comfortable as possible. Cool. Why Garmin? Yeah, so Garmin. it's going to be a question. Uh, because that's that's what they recommended, really. <laughs> that's what came with the yeah. boat. And so we really just had some uh, some options as far as the size. Ooh. Um, yeah, we agree. And so as far as the size, uh, we want the biggest one, and that's a 12-inch 12, 12 screen. And, uh, again, the reason why is so that when we go off and do some inshore reef fishing, uh, we, can, we can use this. And, uh, and really get a good take on the bottom. So this has been my favorite screen. This, it's, uh, this is, looks kind of gnarly here because we're out of the water. Probably should turn it off. But, uh, but this way you can have a GPS. We can have the, the depth finder. This is the side, you know, side, so right and left. So when I'm out exploring new areas, this is what I like. And then if I see something cool right on the side-by-side, -side, I can hit this little button and that, that's, that makes it big. And then go back. Right, if I want to see where I am. Not picking up much in the parking lot. Yeah, not picking up. In case you're wondering, we're at Maximum Marina. Great marina, or great, uh, great boat launch. And again, really, really handy. Let's go ahead and turn that off just to make sure that it's not messing up anything for being out of the water. Um, and then just again, everything here is just nice and easy to access. I like, I really like the fact that the switches are further up in my, in my Maverick, they're, they're along the side. And sometimes like my knees hit them or I have Otis, dog Otis in the boat and he, he'll accidentally turn the live well on or something and I don't know about it and it's a it's a hassle so everything's here easy another really cool thing that I really like is this jack plate trigger so it's right here so now I can be driving and I can just quickly and easily just turn that motor up and down so up down and I can do that without taking my hand off the, off the wheel again another really cool thing that they did just to make life more uh more convenient and easier and then as far as the trim tab so it does have trim tabs as well again same thing where it's easy where i'm driving all i have to do is just barely move my hand and i'm now you know and i'm now uh keeping the boat under control 
So pretty cool. All right, let's uh, keep on moving forward. If you guys are wondering what these names are on the side, so these are our lifetime members. And these are our lifetime members, of, of course, of our Salt Strong Insider Club. And that was one of our promises to them. If uh, you become a lifetime member, we're actually going to put your name on the boat. Man, we are really dirtying yeah. up this boat, aren't we? But we or you? Uh, well, I saw <laughs> you guys make some footprints back there as well. Unbelievable. But yeah, how cool so, is this? Yeah, this, the, this is, these are the people that made this happen, and we are forever, uh, forever grateful for uh for doing that and uh and yeah so your names are going to be on here and we'll be sure to feature this on videos too when we're out here but uh yeah and, uh, and so everybody's on there and you can find yourself and it'll be fun yeah we'll do some more videos kind of showing everyone's uh everyone's name but we're just seeing this for the first time ourselves this morning it's so cool mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna take these shoes off yeah Jeez. seriously get behind the boat uh and so uh, another cool thing again all these lockers this is for rods for uh storing rods overnight um, I just use this for the cast net. I actually still haven't used it for rods yet. And they are lockable. So lockable, so going on weekend trips or whatever, you're keeping it at, uh, keeping the boat out of the hotel or something, you're not sure how safe it is, put the rods in here, lock it up, and problem solved. And so have one on each side, they're very long. You can get, I believe it goes all the way up there to the side of the anchor locker. Um, now we're gonna go to a front compartment, have some chum in here. Uh, I've been testing out various chum, and this is again huge, huge locker. No matter what I do, I can't fill it up. Almost this too thing, much room, really. This thing's a giant. <laughs> and uh, and then we have another compartment further forward, and this is where the life jackets go. So just throw the life jackets on there again. More than enough room. Um, I need to add some more, but uh, but this is just the start, and plenty of room more. And I mentioned that we have multiple live wells, so here is the other live well so this is it's called a pitch well and the purpose of this is just to have a live well up front where you can have some you know small amount of bait fish in here that way when you're fishing from the from the uh, the front deck which is most often the case can without having to go back to the to the uh, back you can rebate be back to fishing uh, more quickly i need to wash this puppy out um I think and this then, entire boat needs a, an official bath now. Yeah. Lesson learned, always bring a towel. That was Luke's role today. He forgot the towel. Yeah, and so then the, uh, the forward compartment, this is for the anchor locker. Um, still didn't have an anchor for this yet. Again, this is a brand new boat. Um, one thing, just one thing to keep in mind with troll motors is, is when you do, when you're not using them, it's, uh, it's smart to unhook it. Um, I have had a prior troll motors where it, uh, it caused some damage. So that my paint was coming off. And I was wondering why, and it was because I never unplugged it, and, uh, and that's a bad thing. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. And I really like the fact that it has, this is obviously built for the anchor, but I just hang, hang the wire on it, good to go. And then when I'm ready to fish again, plug it back in, and uh, ready to rock. And, and just a little small stuff too, like the recessed, uh, recessed cleats. You know, just everything, everything in here has just been really nice and convenient. All right, before we show off the tower, I, I forgot to mention something down here on the lower deck before in the initial filming, and it's, it's the console. It's, it's accessing the electronics. This is awesome. This is one thing that I really like. I haven't really used it because everything's been working, and so I haven't used it. But whenever, when something does go wrong or if I need to replace batteries, this is extremely convenient, right? You can have the... The top one that can go over the cooler if I want to get in there and access something really fast. But if I want to replace a battery down the road or whatever, I can open up both the doors and have access to everything. Easy access to the batteries. I can have you know, easy access to the uh, battery charger, right? If that ever goes out, it's easy to replace. Electronic issues, everything's here and just easy to access and just something that, that I think is really, really cool. And I just wanted to, to make sure that you knew about, about this feature of the boat. So back to the original video. Come on up to the top, my friend. And of course, we couldn't leave out the, the tower. A lot of the towers are kind of um, a little bit lower than this, right? Uh, this is the highest we could possibly get with this uh, with this model. And uh, I mean, you get an extra two feet compared to a lot of those mid-level towers. It is amazing what you can see. It's the difference between if you're paddleboard fishing, sitting on your cooler, and all of a sudden standing up and get an extra couple feet. Hopefully today it is beautiful out, a little bit chilly, but uh, we're gonna go out and see if we can get some triple tail. And this is a game changer for that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, and just the, the convenience is built in. So this is this is the factory, this is the factory tower. And so we were, I was like, oh man, I wonder if, I hope they put rod holders on it. I really didn't know. And, uh, and we didn't, cause we didn't have time to go down there and actually do a tour or anything. We just kind of went in a little bit blind to yep. be honest. 
and I've been super impressed with how everything turned out because again, without us even asking for it, they have the rod holders, the, just the, all the rod holders I was hoping that would have in the tower. Two rod holders here going this yeah, way, two, going two cup forward. holders, and you have two more um, uh, rod holders right back here behind you. Yeah. So awesome. So again, it was just it was just an overall good experience where everything that we wanted was included, and even unique things that I didn't really even think about were included as well. The only uh, few things that we missed, and we are going to be adding onto this, is up here. You have your normal control paddle. You can uh, you can you know mess with your trim tabs. The only thing that's not missing or is missing is what? Yeah. So depth finder number two mm. should have done that. I thought I, that was my mistake. I thought I included it on there, but I didn't. Um, and so that's the one thing that we're going to be adding in for uh, Joe's preference. The some radio. Audio. Some bass, baby. <laughs> yeah, when we're out fishing, we're usually not cranking up the tunes. When you got the family out, you're doing the sandbar stuff. That was one other thing. Once again, it was kind of chaotic with this whole COVID thing, even just getting a boat. And like, I don't know, we both kind of forgot about no, it. No, I, I knew because we had a budget and we were right at the top of it in the the radio would have taken us above, so I, I uh, secretly took that one out. Oh, you <laughs> son of a gun. I want, I Truth the, comes out on video. Yeah, I wanted the uh, the bigger screen depth finder, so that was that was a trade-off. Bigger screen depth finder radio, I want to see the bottom. Yep, so we're talking to our friends at, uh, at Roswell. They do really, really nice marine-grade speakers and sound systems, because that was also a fear. We've seen some sound systems that haven't done that well over the years in, uh, in salt water, uh, and, and that that's annoying, right? When you spend a lot of money on that. But Roswell, we know some of the guys over there uh, here in, uh, in Florida. I know they do amazing work. So we're going to be talking with them about trying to install some uh, speakers now that we got the boat. We got our lifers names on there. We got the wrap. And uh, man, we're ready to do a ton of uh, filming in this and start doing a little bit more traveling as well. That's uh, one of our, our big uh, big kind of must do's. We, we were supposed to do it last year. We're going to go from Texas and do a road trip for a couple of weeks and then go up the East Coast as well up into the Carolinas and uh, COVID kind of kind of put a damper on that but uh, that's the plan and I know 10 of you uh, insider members uh, you lifers we got a, a trip to schedule with you guys now that we got the official boat and then one other reason to become an insider member is as we go do our reports every single week we're going to start posting where we are just to our insider members in our private community and if anyone's around come meet up with us um, that's that's another big, big, big thing that we're going to be doing this year is fishing with more of our insider members. So one more reason to become an insider member, be part of the actual on the water reports and on the water how to videos. So I'm pumped. Speaking of fishing, we've got the boat ready. We've got the rods in here. I think we should. Uh, we got Slam Shady. Ramp. We got Power Prawns. <laughs> we got Alabama Leprechauns. We got it all. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go and put it in. But yeah, if you see us out in the water too, make sure to make sure to holler. Love to love to see you out there, and uh, and it's now the boat sticks out, so you should see us from far away. Yeah, we'll have to get some like decals and stuff in here and get yep. them out. Any, any anyone that comes up to us, unless you obviously see us like in a really honey hole, then just maybe mark it. We're cool with that, and say I'll come back there later. Yeah, and there are multiple salt strong boats too. We mentioned there's Captain Peter Deeks, and he's he'll, he's over on the Atlantic coast of Florida a lot. And then we have Hollywood down there in the Keys, and now this one's going to be you know spending a lot of time along the Gulf, but it will be doing a lot of traveling. So if you see the the Pathfinder. With the logo, that's us, and, uh, and yeah, make sure to make sure to swing by, and and we'll make sure to have some stuff in here for you. Yep. So we love your thoughts. I'm sure we missed a few things that you have questions on. Let us know in the the comments down below, uh, especially at saltstrong.com. We have the the very bottom. Those comes immediately to us versus YouTube, which sometimes gets a little bit chaotic. But we always get back to those comments that you guys leave on the actual Salt Strong page at the bottom of every post there. So guys, thank you so much. You'll see a whole lot more of this boat and I hopefully see a whole lot of you, especially you insider members and you lifers on this boat here going forward. So we are pumped and uh, man, let's go, let's go catch some triple tail. Let's do it. Pow! If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that guarantees you'll be catching more fish than ever before while saving money and all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.